To be so expected, low. Where they have a few duelists. Okay, so we've got Yoru. I thought they were going to go for a double so duelist. I wasn't expecting Yoru, side, so but it's a nice way to have a flash on this one. Uh, with the Astra, um, Omen, Cypher's uh, going to be interesting. Maybe Cypher can adapt on the fly. Like with a bit of demo so watching, the Cypher would have more so impact against this Cypher, uh, against this Yoru, but without the demo footage, he's kind of going to have to adapt on the fly, at least for the Yoru TPs. The pathing of the raise is normal. Here. Uh, yeah, the sky is gonna be Red Gar Omen. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> let's let's see which uh let's see how much on a leash he is. Nice that you actually have that breach to kind of balance out expecting. Many rounds in until we see a mad one. Yeah, giants, they haven't switched their comb either, so this is gonna be a very exciting matchup. And do you know what's even more exciting? A debut of a new casting duo. It's Pansy and Steel. Steel. Ew. A horrific combination, but you're absolutely right. I managed to pry Josh away from one puzzle, dragged Peel. him out of there, got him That's over awful. to you know, the beauty of Berlin, and now we get to have you not only on the desk, but casting as well. Steel right. pan, that's I'm way better. Great. Thank you for having me here. It's, <laughs> it's going to be an experience. It, uh, okay, how specific of you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> but all right, all right, let's... Okay, so take off on the fence, and Giants on attack, and what we about are... This actually stood out to you? Yeah, it's reminiscent of like the 2022 chamber meta. You just have the sky breach. You're going to be really explosive with this comp. I thought they patched that. that comes into Where you can see through the window? Just tuning in. This, I don't I mean, that scans it. Carmine Core last season, obviously quite underwhelming. Unless it didn't go uh, far enough. Plum last, <laughs> and they went to market. They finished the season, and they have refreshed near on everything. Obviously, Shin kind of liking the Doom Bros. It's nice on the ice. They have rebuilt, and they've taken... A lot of upcoming talent, a lot of rookie players coming in, and we're seeing a very patient start here. Yeah, it's going to be a decent trap setup, but uh, just... Oi, my, just my internet is just have a out to give me today. Installed out here for a little bit. Yeah, I won't see how much Martin can handle on his own. He's obviously going to have to call for some support, which will be coming in through heaven. Two more players nearby, but they're not overly biting on this. It's... So Slow after using the dog, they kind of cut sound, but the, the thing is here, is Narrate just has yeah, full like info of middle, so they know they haven't uh, actually go gone out anywhere. Sure there is a small window where this could have happened still if they don't make any sound. To see if Carmine Corp is going to actually but, uh, rotate back to A to soften up that B site for them. But here's the middle take here. Once they get spotted out, that's going to cause a reaction. Omen flash know, goes so in over out. towards yeah, the B. And now. Already pressure towards B, but that's now they have only point. one flash nice to get through this. Cloud still held back here. The flash to follow. Martin here we go. Keep an eye on the Omen. Evan oh my God. Is now starting to be lost as well. What am I the crunch is here, and there's the pressure point. And that Not is gorgeous bad, yeah. from Giants X. Uh, chat, Already ignore the hard right now. It's a 1B3. Shin lofts alive, and it's 10 seconds. Finally getting through to the site. But by now, in a post plant, what is he meant to do here? He's meant to try his best. That's about <laughs> all he can do at this point. Oh, bless him. He's well, about to have two stars. Damage can be achieved. I love the tempo from Giant X here. The way they approach the map, that beautiful late split through middle. Oh, I'd love to get your thoughts on it once we see this come to conclusion. Astra because, as Omen. Said, this is a rather dire scenario for Shin, but why not give it a go? See if he can at least get something to the good. So. Potential targets, and he's found the first. Yeah, even FBX don't play Dio, Astra Omen on this map, right? So, talk me through what we just saw there. Yeah, so basically, Giant X, they wanted to do an explosive B play, but once they saw that one way smoke up, they're like, you know what? Maybe we should just change what we're doing here, change our approach. So, the first thing they yeah, did the wholesome was, moment okay, between right Still and Ardish yesterday. Like that. We the smoke. Cool. We can take the main now. Wait, there's no yeah. Okay, that sounds chill. good, Doom Bros. Surely Look forward to that one. So what we I dread to think. Instead of just going through B main here, we're going to actually go and split through middle. Split. Get yeah, it? I got it. That was really good. Well done. So well, once they, I love how they took their time with that, though, because they didn't force anything that they weren't ready to take. Yeah, and speaking okay, of chance for Giants to really okay, clean up and have a good start here. Chat costers are a bit low, yeah? Can turn them up. Classics as it stands. But beyond that, we have to see if Giant X can keep this clean. I love the patient approach in the first. It hopefully bleeds through to the it rest of the better. game. We see that very diligent, heads-up work, very cautious, not running into any stacks. And I want to see how they feel this out, because I feel like, especially in a round like this, you can't leave it so late. You kind of lose some of those protocols. It could get a little bit dicey. But in Come and Call, they've, they've gone for the stack here. That flash doesn't reveal that much, if I'm honest. Yeah, I like what both teams are doing here. Carmine Corp, obviously, doing a stack. They're not going to win if they s s do a spread default here. But GX is Dog doing goes over a towards great middle, and kind of damn, I kind of forgot. Uh, on, forgot how slow Giants like to play. They've always been like this. At least the, they have at least the change of IGL hasn't changed up too much of how they like to play. This is nice, though. I think it's just a misread. 
Yeah, I think Carmine Corp have, have gambled and lost, which is, I mean, it's how this round goes. You're hoping that you might get a little bit of a, a bonus when you go towards, you know, stacking a site. It is just yeah, over towards the site. Who is going to get so the plant? Again, if you're giant uh, X, giants. You can see okay, this is nice. Cloud clearing. gets they the orb. There is gonna have the plant as well, and we're going to be great little pretty close. So the good thing about this buy in terms of the old FPX buy is, especially when you have a moment like this, it means that we have two opportunities for people to hunt and get some orbs. So Redgar and Cloud and Cloud especially can definitely hunt this and try and get the kills. Maybe they actually go back to A, but it was a bad read. Unlucky. What are you going to do about it? Because it doesn't matter if you lose a ghost. Because it's an eco round at the end of the day, and. All they're going to do is try to not to feed any ultimate orbs over to Giant X because if they do that, Reach getting close to the ulti, mm -hmm. that's going to be painful going into like a round three type of situation if he's able to get any Wait, kills or spawn. spike plant. Oh boy. Let's see if he gets that chance here. Not much to Wait. lose in all to gain, so has a little bit of a look. There's the swing. Wait, There's that one for Cloud. Two, two three. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my, and a nice. death so on top. That is, uh, that is all. Well. And I think they've recovered anything that was potentially lost. Yeah, it's going to be really good going into this bonus round here for Giant perfect. X because the you've perfect, got the perfect start you've got right there. Options. And, not only and this is what options, I, this was like a good example of what I'm talking about with the economy, about, right? Like you know how we now don't have we have like a weird second bonus, round where like, everyone's scared to buy anything into it because you really like, want to have like heavy armor because of the outlaw. Just means that this is going to happen all the time. I actually think we're gonna think we're gonna not enjoy some of the games we see in terms of just Snowball Valorant. At the peak of Snowball Valorant we've ever seen. Pistols have never been more important. Up again, which is that could be incredibly hard to handle. So we'll okay. see. Obviously, it's kind of Giants X's choice to see how they approach this one. I doubt Carmine Core is going to be super proactive, but they do have a triddle. Three men in middle, and I'm just waiting to see if they actually <laughs> decide to do anything with it, or if they're just going to show a little bit of presence and peel away. Yeah, it looked like Yoru was there in a really peculiar, peculiar position, but he's just killed off to A site. I think he's gone a fair amount of room here. Now he's being checked on. There are two players on the other side of this, but it is Nuki, and he can do nothing this round. Actually, okay. uh, Shin's got him dead. Dog to goes right, in. Narrate. Does give away the game at all? He's going to say see. we're Come really on, committed with this one. In this one. Oh, a dash across. Fatinho going to end up getting caught in the end. But a four to three is Cloud, Hoodie, and Redgar looking to try and maybe filter through middles. They have finally built a little bit of space. Which side do they choose? I mean, it's two either side. They get the bonus to be able to sit on both sides here. Yeah, they can definitely prod a little bit more through Behaven, see what they can get, see if they can pressure oh out the defenders here. But here are the gem spots. I like this. Uh, I like this smoke to stop them. This is a nice smoke there. from Tomasi. Do they pull the third across? I'm waiting to see if we see maybe Martin drift a little closer. I wonder if Kaykov tried Tomasi loads on Sentinel when they just felt like he has more comfort on an extra controller. They're actually going to group up. Might be playing with a lot of comfort with their comps because Astro Omen is is an odd combo. And he can be a little bit duelisty with it as well, like a hybrid duelist. I They're guess sometimes it's with the Omen Flash TP potential. 10 seconds like this, absolutely yeah, classic seconds, so from, from Giants, and they can only get one attempt at the plant here. We've got nothing to stop to this, so. so the plant's gonna come in. Not too bad. I'm, I'm looking. Close, I'm looking close to the Mullen right spam, but we're okay. Oh, big flash. Do they even do they wonder or are they trying to surprise with the. Rather dicey, actually, for Giants X. Now trying to deal with those lesser numbers, trying to go for the fight towards CT. Carmine Corn needs to get a move on. Just stood in front, of, in front of it. Comes back. Still Look a 2v3. The they have a good crossfire, and that is a Gorgeous massive shot from Redgar. Well. Denying the drop down for Martin. Good smoke to block vision. Even footing. Redgar gets the attention, waits for Cloud on support. Together with the swings, could at least get the trades. All to do now. One v one, and the defuser started. Magnum. He, he does come off it. His nerves getting the better in there. He didn't want to take it. Damn, Redgar, Redgar, fair play. Exceptional work. Solid the impact. Really they played this really well, especially in the uh, 3v3. Just making 3v4. the decision to go two people back into B main, showing themselves at B heaven first, making Carmine Court really scared to do anything. And it's nice peeks over towards B as well. Um, had the advantage. They had the four versus three. Shout out to Cloud, honestly, just sending space space it through the smoke there to allow Redgar to trade. Around. Get the spike planted and get aggressive into CT spawn before anything happened. And they can't let their foot off the gas if they want to be able to Take by gels, hold control over the map or the rounds or the game. Yeah, and, and, and I, I guess if we do talk bigger picture, obviously if we're... Smoke towards bottom of middle. Dude, I haven't seen this for a long time. Is There's always a gap these, uh, when you do this, though, unless it's Astra. A couple of their names have been thrown around as that you know, next generation coming up that everyone was looking at, eyeing oh. up. But for oh, Giant okay. X as well... 
they've maintained Interesting. the core of very They kind of do it like a Viper, like a Viper so Omen. So say a really Viper Omen nice can be Viper Astro as well. We just hold middle probably, heavy with the smokes, but this time we go for deeper middle. So they got the some... Uh, so with their own variations in terms of new stuff that bring with this one for the eco two people getting so info that they really don't push over towards middle sky so wait what okay sky dog goes out towards b and martin just takes the jewel over towards yeah, a and wins it and now it's a weird round where they know a gun's down gains mo momentum and confidence throughout this half because right now it looks like they're a little shaky they're they're not playing like they're super confident at the moment right like we have them in an advantageous situation and they have skilled players, but they need a, a lot of <laughs> I mean, mid has been constantly smoked for hey, a minute, go and take these a whole minute. It's pretty good. Right now, it, it's like they're playing too safe. Still constantly smoked. We need to see them get the only time space. that hasn't been smoked is for 32 <laughs> seconds at the um, end. That's again, a little bit disgusting, to be fair. Well Do they use every Astra? You know, these are no, we've got one star. A lot of new players, younger players coming in and need to get their footing underneath them, know when to play, you know, to that proactive extent. and. Martin okay, we're going to have to see a retake on this one. If the T... Oh, boy. That was big if Fatinho gets a kill, that's... Uh, foul, but they do have the time on their side, but it is a 3v5, and the retake begins. Hoodie's got to be careful. He, can't, he cannot get caught out alone here. Dips back, but far from safety, and the pressure starts to mount. Fatinho in trouble. Has to fall away. Hoodie, tethered and held for a moment. They still have the rifles, keep in mind. They have Damn, they're the ready to just chill in up here. Double satchel from heaven. Already Lovely from him. Hoodie denied vision for a couple more Red Gar can maybe swing in time. Oh my god, time. nicely done. On, and three people back. alive that they managed that to get the gun upgrades. Absurd. Solid Giant first kill from Martin as well to allow this to happen. They were in a man and disadvantage and they stick yeah. the plant. It's not even like they that have control impressive. over it. was a lovely nade from They're heaven as well. For a position that they don't, don't even have control over. The duelist did a lot here. Why not plant passive? Why not plant for the site? And not only that, why are you going to force the plant when you know that you're going to die in the in the paint shells? Like, you need to get out of that position. You need to just say, you know what? Unlucky, I'm going to yeah, move on, I'm going to plant to this Bringing it down position. to a 3v4. And then at least you have a to stabilize. I agree really well with that. From Carmine Cora. you got to cancel step that. Step. When you see that so nade come in, you got to cancel that plant, just go for a safer well. plant, play because the numbers. Especially, especially when you have the gun against Nico, he's not wrong. Um, momentum swing. We'll see if that continues to affect it, however, because there is still a purchase here for Giant X. So nah, Brim Omen, I think, Joe, is what you're thinking of. Set on the alt as well. Yep. Red Gar's got his a little less. It was a solid one and done. Know, still certainly in place in the pace change. Razor <laughs> send it in. Lovely stun to mean that they can't get traded. Lovely three. Omen Flash Magnum in return here. Already. You can see the Damn, Fatino did great. And they know that he's back of sight because Omen Flash came from here. And they're down to three. This is a problem for Carmine Court. They're losing numbers. Trying to get proactive. Trying to be aggressive. And they're being dealt with Fatino. What a round. What a great round from Giant X. Turning it around yeah. from the previous round, you know, kind of and like controlling the the situation a little bit. They go down, down to 1 9 loss bonus, but, but obviously the round before they picked up three guns, you know right? So Let's three of them actually okay for money. All game. Two now of them not so much. Rocket. We have a sheriff on the raise player, so it's not like they have like the, the gun. I was just checking out. Okay, hold on. So I'm actually just. They go feet are everywhere. Let's go. Reach done. Reach flash. Raise rocket out. Let's just go and take this. We got the entry on the Viper, and the rest was just easy peasy. Superheads were upwork. I I was a little, I say worried, but I was considering if maybe Carmine Cork and could I use that. And I think we're going to see some slow play once again. And here again. That is how they, <laughs> that is what they do. Shifting away from that high tempo, sitting way more passive, maybe expecting Carmine Cork to try and get in their face on this mm -hmm. lesser purchase. So we'll see if that actually pays dividends. And one of the things to point out actually is that we see Carmine Core, they only had Astra ulti and Omen ulti last round, but now they also have Fade and Raze ulti. But they can't really use them on this round because they have three players with classics huh. or the jump you know, TP text to try to get like info really there. Spooky. Do you use the ultis to win Four this round? Ults. You just got them at the end of the last round, so it's really a bad situation. With how slow giants are playing, really there is a world where these, these ults... ults with guns on this yeah, round. I think... Losing okay, another long story short, I think giants need to go a bit faster into these rounds because of the ults. It's more stopping potential. I know the, the guns aren't here, but it can be a little bit scary. Is he sticking this? Oh my god, he's sticking this. No one is close to hear the CP. Oh, they are trapped. Yeah, and with the fade ult, minus 80, AoE, Razor finishes them off. Nari, though, does at least have the rifle and the position... 
could be paramount here. Nookie wants to try and dig him out of it. The spike oh is God, down there. They have again. to go for this one. He dives in. There's no chance of a trade. Isolated and, and alone. It's Redgar. In yeah, a one <laughs> nicely two. done. Huge combos. Big from the rate as well. Double all used, and they did great just crunching in over towards middle here. thrifty for Casey. The two rounds that they have are off the back of narrate actually it's off the back of a thrifty and on the back yeah of the jewelists are doing a lot it's a really good fade really good as well he's able to keep this momentum up it's gonna be really good for him because he is an, a very skilled individual player so if he's able to get confidence in the you know debut match here it's gonna be really good for them because he's not gonna be afraid to take different peaks and it's a really One good job remaining. of him just being not afraid to just really good utility usage yep. really good idea to use the ulti there it's not like someone's so the only rounds so they've won so far are low buys the game out a little bit more so i see the person but they did use two ults into this and now magnum gonna be put to test early ready taking a massively different approach here, yep. Giant X. Very straightforward, straight through towards heaven, finding a gap and exploiting it somewhat. Maybe Nuki noting this in the last couple of rounds, but Carmine Core will need to respond here. Lose a bad round and then speed up the next. <laughs> <laughs> the classic Wait. go of things. But Wait. Again, the ult's I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's moving down. Astra all over towards Sight. Kind of splits it in half. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Oh my god, that is huge. Astra all allows a little cubby and they cannot hear him getting out of his ult. Insta stick. This one. That's ridiculous, bro. It, That's a sick a combo. What a and it just looks like it's an ult to uh, get you Another over towards sight and flood in as well. Just taking matters into their own hands. That was a huge, massive play. That's really cool. Play. To get in the back lines there and, and line yeah. all up. Eng is I'm back. Shocked that Eng is actually, right actually back. With that back step from Nuki, he got the Cypher ulti off. They were going to get the info, but oh, they're just that was so yeah, getting into ass. a little pocket of the Astro oh. wall. They didn't hear the, t the TP <laughs> disengage because of it. That was really well played. I I wonder if that was like a pre-planned thing. It, it kind of felt like it, right? That pocket yeah. was so well placed. We're seeing these little trap plays coming out from KC. That is sick. And uh, obviously, even with Michael not being here, there will be a technical pause. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, so right well, down, we're covering it. Yeah, that was sick a combo. Two, isn't it? No, all right, all right. I didn't need you to do this today. We were having a perfectly nice time. But you know what? I, I think kind of recapping the last couple of rounds. Um, yeah, it did feel individual in a couple of these, but in the nicest way, I'm down for it. If it, it, it felt like it was kind of yes, individual, but built off maybe a little pocket play, as said with that pocket left on site, maybe from the, the divide coming in. If this is what Carmine Core's kind of building, what they're starting to look like. I'm, I'm excited to see what they look like further down the line, right? These yeah. younger players starting to feel more confident, more comfortable on you the You could stages. do the same thing with an and Omen ult. Yep. I, mean, I mean, they would hear the Omen ult originally as well, same with the Yoru ult. Nice. Like, I mean, but the yeah. play itself was fine. It was you know, well set up. But it's one of those I things mean, where teams will be more aware that now so they've seen it, but I think I'm if you actually think of the map and the amount of uh, different Astro ults you could do, there's a lot of... The team lot of options. Each other. We had foot yep. starting out very similar to how Giant X is. You know, win the pistol, win round two, convert the bonus. But yeah, round, there is a chance they do that as well with really good for them. And then it's like, you know, Team Heretics, they're looking not too great. That is set up? Yeah, confident. it's a set, it's a set round they, they have to show. Win, five rounds in. And then slowly but surely they gain more. Loads of people have set rounds when you have two ults, right? It's a, it's a lot of like how, not saying that EG like, like here, where invented it, but they were like one of the better rounds, ones at it, where it's just like a, especially when you look at Fracture, when they were picking up all the orbs, like you had a Killjoy ult and then they would be in a certain area and you could brim ult on top of it or you could Sova ult on top of it. Like they're always the ones that, again, not saying that they were the first ever ones to do it because it existed before them, but they always had good combos. So. You gotta, you gotta like be able to. Well, this is gonna help them. Just be able to breathe, reset mentally, not let like these bad round losses affect them. Because Let's at the end of the day, two thrifties within the first like seven rounds, that's kind of tough. Yeah. And yeah, you, you need to be able to just bounce back from that for sure. So if you were curious, I think it was actually meant to be a tactical timeout rather than a technical. And uh, here we are. So uh, going back into it, it's like Carmine Core actually pumping the brakes. Potentially, I, I'm, I'm not trusting anything, if I'm honest. I don't know if it is actually their timeout. I wouldn't be surprised. Chat, what are these? Hand Giant X at this point. It could have been a tech into attack. It could be. Because you can, you're not could allowed be. to talk. Well, most oh, people wow. aren't allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, telling I'm, them off. I am interested Guys, stop talking. I'm not allowed to talk in tech pauses. Last game, you did see that kind of pressure mounting on the expectations, right? Like, Foot, uh, last season, very solid team, went incredibly deep, you know, at an international event, looked very good. Um, okay, a, confirmation okay, if Doom Bros is still here. The assistant coaches are upgraded, allowed to talk. So... So, somehow I know more. <laughs> somehow, did, somehow I managed to go, get one up on the admin there. Doom Bros, I'll take that. Them, 
on it. Yeah. You know, a lot of us would have said, we just the don't admin know. spread we don't know in false information. Like it was Outrageous. Together, you know, seen last so yeah, in tech, uh, in timeouts, yes, not tech timeouts, after timeouts, the coach and the assistant coach can both talk. Players, high potential, limited exposure towards stage pretty, environments and everything else, and how will they judge the roster? That. How will they fare against? Especially as Bacon said it was a thing as well yesterday. He was just the exception to the rule, but keeping as many of the players as Giants did into this roster and then having red guy you could argue is again sideways if not straight upgrade depending on how you look at it uh, you'd, you'd give this on paper to giant x so it is quite interesting to see those potential elements of <laughs> not upsets i don't want to call it an upset twist bacon was the much, admin if you're looking purely statistically right that that idea of like okay pre-made roster that's been around you know experience under the belt great players too i mean giant x are no slouches you saw what fatinio just just did as well but to already see the cracks being can you use a timeout when it's a tech force yeah it would be oh straight God. after the timeout yeah so the honestly like when the, you're playing a game like the that, four right, hour timeout so uh the, that you can do well, really it was kind of an hour timeout that followed the overtime from um in specific rounds with just like the, followed the ability to synergize bleed certain the bleed game together, that uh we they both called a timeout in that so one hour tech pause so then they, we had two minute timeout after that where both so teams could talk it's right the best now. example and i can give you seeing. okay oh, two in a row that means the giants have no money kind of close to small though i mean so i say kind of close one away from three orbs so that at least in terms of the next buy round should be pretty decent interesting purchase a bit of you know a, a jumble sale really one rifle yes for nookie but the rest i mean i think it's a stinger and sheriff so only one ult, uh, yeah one i'll check it in a little bit for as well to potentially get his ult there cloud very close by hoodie as well so a couple of ults right on that verge whether or not they get the chance to pick up those ults it gets to be seen oh. tomasi already dealing a whole lot of damage Fatinio yeah, down different guns HP there and he goes down yeah. Fatinio lucky well done, to be alive with the one hp control. as well gets full heal from the sky next, but doesn't uh, take the bait they're gonna have to wait around if they want to use these ultis. TP goes out from the Yoru. It's just you can't just use Just a little bit closer but towards spawn. For a faster right rotate. Towards a, and why is the main Double cages over team. towards A to create like, pressure. To Question mark straight up towards here. And, and it looks we like gotta this say that the K Corp a. comp right now, is not great. Clearing question marks. Only fade really. And fade is over towards the Sentinel player right now over on the other side. So there's gonna be gaps, and you have to just realize like, okay, we're playing with a gap. We're gonna play the retake. That's fine. Both of the we smokers playing with a phantom, so potentially the so it's gonna spam be down here can be good, especially with the 30 seconds. Smoke goes spawn. What's the spam like? Where he's gonna be able to do something with his teammates nearby, ready to just take advantage of the situation. Yeah, they've committed Not the spawn as well, so now it is time for the pawns to get I'm Looking at the discipline on the Carmine core side as well. Don't want to give up too much. They still want to maintain this heaven control. It looks like they're trying to vie for that on the other side too, potentially here, Nookie. Waiting to see that Vandal come into effect. It is the Omino on site to try and get info the into the shop before that he could Everything see anything. Very, very limited. Fatinio going to put his life on the line by trying to control this CT oh, space. Oh, a nice flash. Parallel comes through. Fantastic, though. Fatinio still alive. And one flies in. They're already on the site itself. Has a little look around and clears it out. But Redgar trying to play hide and seek here. Loses yeah, his life. Yeah, one more in heaven, Magnum. What can the one Lovely, do? okay. Nothing. Magnum there in nice the end. Easy for this one. This has been um, cool. But the next round, like we said, Giant's going to yeah, have this, four orcs into this. So, I mean, if they wanted to call a timeout to actually talk about what to do, this would make a lot of sense. Big round for them. Way too much space. But this time, I don't know if it was like Carmine Core, like they did enter together. They were doing it step by step, which was really good. But I don't know about Giant X, how they had one player in spawn, a couple at ramp. But they were, it was all like really disjointed. And again, yeah, we, I mean, we might see something faster now, to be honest. They've, they've defaulted pretty much eight rounds. Rounds, including the pistol uh, actually that's a light that. pistol was more to stack over towards being ready to hit and this would be a nice change of pace with this many ults yeah and here we go you get your wish faster round flash in the one over towards sight astra potential fast flank on this one there is a trip though so we'll keep an eye for cypher it stays alive three person priority on ramp to that challenge every single time and close oh by Alt on the other side martin's gonna see it all as well red guard we're gonna find magnum though that is a pick that they've not had previous to now already looking to try and overwhelm what can martin do here he's only got so much time to work with trying to bait them out hoodie already gonna punish narrate trying to trade off the back of that contact but it's down to two shin and martin trying to still work this out Four, four <laughs> nice shot from cloud 
Okay, really good round, and I mean, really good round, but you gotta say, we used a lot of ults into it, so it's hard to repeat this, for sure. Let's do a rush. Lose a bad round, let's do a rush. So here, maybe we see them doing another, you know, slower approach. Maybe they do something a little bit early to take or establish control, but... It's very All right, had nade, and also the Cypher was alive the whole time, right? So they just... They just gave up so much space. And I'm pretty sure the Astra can get involved for a while. Yours off in a. He just keep it away. We're dogging him, we're throwing, you know, birds at him and everything Ooh, like that. Ooh, uh, I'm going for another off. fast round over towards B. We can see in the minimap. Good call. <laughs> They're throwing everything at him. He has to back out. They didn't even stop to clear the site. They just stop. go straight for the plant. Yeah, straight on in. Uh, Tomasi could be forced away very early on this round. Already could be forced to be a little bit more passive here, but... Again, we've seen these early tests, these early kind the of K Corp, they get a lot of info over towards A. They set the Yoru up, stun on site. Omen flash hit. Oh man, this raise is be trying to set up for Tino here. so fine. He gets, in, he gets held back. Shin's going to be good for one, but the trades are great. Narrate again, though. This guy is monstrous. So much damage and already Damn. confident. He gets the Gambled right with it. He had a teammate back at site giving him well. info. Yes, masterful in his own right, but down to 46 HP. This is a very tall task. One other small caveat, I guess he has the spike, so he has the chance and a lot okay, of Okay, the fast play. round doesn't work. There's Back to really default in next round do. for they sure. do have a little bit of money in the bank, so we're probably going to see if he loses this round. Wait, he can... Really fast play next round. Let's just see if the pattern plays out. But honestly... Let's, let's give this a little bit of a chance. I know he's low no HP, really but they're side. so far he's away. He's probably not going to get his ulti again this half, unless he somehow miraculously gets the plant and gets all three enemies here. <laughs> yeah, no small task, right? No yes. small task. Uh, get plant and kill them all. Well, he's going to get one. Uh, obviously he, he has no the idea that they're this far away. I wonder how conservatively he's going to play this himself. They were, they were you know, waiting it out. I don't mind that necessarily because they do, do still have utility to try and clear some of this. But maybe Cloud getting proactive does give him a chance. Yeah. But this is brutal. This this has to be so clean from Cloud. Oh, he's going to hear the steps. This could be massive. Oh, oh boy. 7 HP. 7 HP. This could be everything. Magnum trying to close down the distance. He's Running him down, trying to catch Cloud, who's just Oh, the comms came in for the low HP here. Magnum. Trusty Shorty. That was a that great try. Good damage, Cloud, at least. Still onto the defuse and tying up the scoreline. Really well played, though, from Cloud. Getting that lineup with the stun was really important there. Honestly, like, Fade had a Prowler, but there's so many places that can help to clear. They're all moving together because they want to make sure that they're close enough to do the trades. But, like, the lineup was right there. It almost happened. Luckily, 7 HP at the end there with the, <laughs> the shorty finished him off. Okay. Okay. It does seem as though they have an actual tactical timeout hitting between these two. And uh, I'm just so happy we're seeing such a game out of these. I was a little bit worried that if Carmichael did get off to that poor start, they could have suffered a little bit here. Especially if I'm not mistaken, this was... Setting check choice. instantly. Yeah, so I, I would yeah. hate to see them suffering early on. Why must they do this to us? It's to you. It's it's not us. It's you. Uh, uh, absolute pain. But but genuinely, seeing Carmine Core kind of stabilize, this is excellent signs. By the point of the mid game, I mean, you look at the way the rounds have gone. It has been near on back to back. Yeah, a couple of pace changes worked out for Giant X. But if I'm Giants, I'm I'm a little bit worried. I'm not loving what I'm seeing now. They've hit a bit of a brick wall, and they haven't found a solution yet to what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do choose to do here because if they follow that pattern, it's going to be Five maybe out. something that could be abused later on, like a little tell that Rudgar has. But we also see that he's, he's got his ulti in play. So there might be a plan behind that. But right now, Carmine Core is doing such a good job of just making sure that they're playing together, yeah. really. Like, it, they're, they're not trying to do too much. So they're not trying to hold both sites. Mm -hmm. They have a decent spread to get info, but then they're moving around really well. So if they're ahead of the hit, then they try to fight it together. And if they're not ahead of the hit, then they play for the retake and then they do it step by step. The thing that Giant X needs to do here, if they want to start picking up more rounds on the attack side, because obviously like five rounds on attack is pretty decent yeah. on split, but like if they can min maximize the amount of rounds that they could get, they definitely want to do that. So if they're going to identify, hey, KC is in a retake situation again, hey, let's try to do something where we're getting in their faces again. And they tried that before on like up a ramp, trying to get into elevator, but that's where Nerei got This the guy sounds right. like still, it so is still. They need to do something That'll be where why. they don't overextend. Okay, it's so just it's find a balance, fine line. Right? It's a very fine line. It's a tight rope that you got to walk. You have to get a little bit active, but not too active. <laughs> 
patches? Yeah, okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll see if that uh, is what they dabble with. I, I am kind of curious. I, I do believe this is actually just to balance out what happened earlier, so uh, don't worry too much. This isn't actually a technical timeout, I believe. Do you know what? I shouldn't describe these things because it's only going to just make them happen more. Alt-wise as well, just kind of having a little look through this. Magnum very close by to his. The rest pretty far away. I mean, yes, Tomasi's there, but... Uh, There's a tech so pause done the into the timeout. So the chatter that was asking if you could do this, there you go. Living proof, and, and then now we can talk in terms of the players and the coaches. Quite close to his too. So a couple of alts, not impossible to get online, but you know, still not quite comfortably into the pocket. And it looks like, yes, they are just mirroring what happened earlier. So Giant X going to have the time out to talk things through, have a little chat, maybe try and identify what you've already noted here. But again, it's a very different scenario, and we can sit here and obviously see the big picture in the game. I wonder how much they've been able to extrapolate and identify the issues that they could have to, as I said, min-max going into that second half that really five rounds isn't unworkable. But I think against a team as volatile as KC, I wouldn't like right, to rest see. on my laurels thinking, hey, five Are there five, any other NA imports other than Narrate and Ye? Yeah, yeah, Rossi, I, I think that though Rossi Governor. CT side of, or and then side of a lot of coaches, right? to be honest. Yeah, you do? Okay, my bad. Okay, thank you. Because they can... Same they, with confidence, Josh. <laughs> they have the traps, right? They have the cypher traps and the, the the camera, and then they have the breach behind it, and then Raze can definitely do Ban some as well. behind yeah. that. Or Raze can be off with an uh, an operator, and then they can have the omen doing stuff with it, with the omen flash. So Ooh. they doesn't have, have option, ban, Doesn't Ban have dual here. passport, yeah, or am like I wrong I said, there? <laughs> Love a bit of it. By the way, okay, yeah, either way. Uh, may, may have called that one, but Fatino yeah. taking a massive amount of space away, right? Like, this is quite suffocating for KC. They're going to be feeling this pressure. To no end. Now, Fatinio does have to set up Omen down a little bit. In the middle of site to get info. In, Yoru decides space, to send it in. TP's out of there, risk averted. The and then now, I mean, they have a lot of map control. I feel like Narate needs to get off the site. Didn't actually see anyone, but the players are there. Oh man, I'm a bit worried for him. It's still highly indicative. They are coming this way. The players over towards B main are a little bit late though. Honestly, filthy to watch. This guy is nasty. Savior. Martin has spotted Fatinho. That's the tip of the spear blunted. Now, yes, Red Guard got a slip ahead. Oh, my right. God. Oh, this he guy. saved him again with He's the flash. So sick. I'm going to become quite the fan of watching him, but they're not out of the yet. Cloud's still living, and he almost made something like this work before, but this is a very tough scenario. Do not give him 1v1s, please. This guy will take them every day of the week. Another 1v3 attempt. attempt. Where does he go this one, this? a lot more doable. Still got options, but less time this... Time around and obviously 30 seconds the CT left. side much closer by. Looks like he wants to commit to this the one double now. Push. Yeah, and a double swing. Okay. Perfectly Huge. handled. Like that was, uh, it, heads up work. that was pretty cool from the well, double like duelist over towards B, to be honest. To it now. Bailed yeah, him out with the big kill and then flashed to really save guidance. him over so towards really site as well. Control over B heaven, and then they completely pump the brakes. And it made Carmine Core think, what is going mm. on? Then the Omen ulti comes, he's going for info at B site, yep. but Army Corps, they, they don't know what's happening. Wait, let's push the B-Main. They're not here. What's going on? Is it a fake to go A? We don't know what's going on. Maybe the Omen ulti was a fake at B so that they could do an A-Fight. And we see three players from Carmen Corps just chilling at A. And then GX, they just wait too long. If Giant X actually went a little bit more explosively through Is he going for the one-way smoke? All oh, man. We're we'll bring really bringing back some old school, uh, old school stuff here. I haven't seen this one-way for a long time as well. Again, looks like Fatinho is enjoying his time in middle. He's going to be following that again. Tomasi, you're already going to be noting it, so you're going to see a little bit of information back and forth between these two. Once again, it's Nuki with that yeah, right. And they just have so many smokes they can kind of get away of it. Yoru does have his TP if he wants to get out of here. here. Pop flash and the fall up, but it got oh, turned that's by Martin, but it gets taken down. That's a rifle recovered. Yeah, and heaven huge. once again open. Rotations are coming in though. This time, two players. I think when you heaven, know they're so the low by here, you got a. Uh, and actually, hold I don't know how flash this was, but. Felt like he ate the flash. Nuki has taken the space. We want yeah, to see that and while this has been going on, Yuki well, has just walked over towards Ooh, A, and we have a four-person re-clear of middle. Man, K Corp are going to be kind of hard to play against. They play so uh, they play so weird. It's like a repeat again every time we have Fatal. Almost got dropped in the worst position possible. Magnum on the hunt. What he's got? Yeah, they can't hear a thing that's going through there. Keep an eye on the jewel in the middle. Looks like. Oh boy. Like guys, I got you. Hello. Can you please get over here? Get that spike. Good. Oh my goodness. Okay, Shim one v three for that. I was not expecting that from Redgar. Lovely shot. Pot on the heels. Red guy's looking pretty good at the moment as well. Yeah, it's, it's in terms of the shots, yeah. he's been great. We've had a couple of close calls with these sort of rounds. Kudi and Redgar unable to recover any of the rifles that were dropped, so they are still on the sheriffs here. Redgar with utility as well. Hoodie, similar scenario. Shin closing in. Going to be noted here and dealt with. Nookie, comfortable there. 
And the scoreline tied Considering up. the strong points. start, I feel like K-Corp should really be pretty like happy that with that. From Dry I wish I saw that earlier from them in the half. Like, we saw two different rounds big, uh, where Nookie what is it? had Four out of six. one round, his team's on eco, but he is the Vandal. He's not active at all. He's like doing laps back and forth yep. in, in attacker spawn. Don't know what he's doing. And there's another round. I, it was one of the first like four rounds. Maybe it was like round three or something. All these tweets today, dude, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, his tweet. He anything. found info about, you know, what the defender setup is. Are they playing for mid? Are that they moment was What's hilarious, on? honestly. Nookie's just up in A. He needs to wait for his team to take contact. But this round, we see them moving up B or through middle into B heaven, getting the info, getting the space. What was the tweet? The, this the is a, this is a screenshot of me after he team kills the space palm and basically pull all of his team back. Then there's some shenanigans <laughs> happening over our vents, ropes. What's going Nate on there? Nate yeah, combo for the pistol to start this off. Yeah, if anyone wanted to go like aggro right, towards B, we have a TP towards the back here and we have a punish towards middle. Oh, this actually, chat, this might work. We've got a camera that spots speech. We can then have an omen flash. We can have a sky flash and potentially a breach stun as well. So yeah, they come up. They come up on the radar. Yeah. One, two, three. Same sort of tempo approach from Wait. Carmine Core. Do they Honestly, have their own look of maybe things not. to go through? Plenty of unanswered With how they played this, here. maybe not. Very interesting setup. Like, I thought this would see wide them. open. Breach was ready for a mid trap, but nothing came mid. He's still ready. He still has that stun out. One smoke happened over Ray's towards A, by the way, to block visions, create pressure. It's a little bizarre, isn't it? Uh, well, it was basically just this smoke, right great now. pressure so up towards here. Is, if it is a and it he's did got, mean that a big stun, rotate came in, but now with this information... Clear out so many different wait. Areas. He's not, that's their game plan right now. These guys are stealing my stuff, mid, I'm telling you. A, Go into B, we have to play the retake. It's um, this is lovely. Wait for the flash over towards here. This is this is actually sick from K-Corp right now. The pressure over towards... I mean, so much good stuff is going on. The fake smoke over towards A to create pressure, but also Giants clearing this one out and now getting the double flank over towards B main. So now look at the recheck. Great shot from Red Gobber. Shin in support. Deals with the follow-up. That's Cloud down, and that's one of those pressure points handled. Now Fatinio, Nookie, and Hoodie, though, have their chance to try and disrupt here. Carmine Cord do have the numbers. Lovely bait in as well. Great, just swings it out perfectly. It's all Fatinio. Huge. Really no nice pistol from them. Really good read from Carmine Core there. Honestly, yeah, as as I kind of like the pistol from both of them. I felt like the reaction hey, was good as well. On? This is free. Instantly they peel back. They go into B main. The team did great to okay, clear the no way, info over towards A. Like a five man retake flood through heaven or spawn, but there's a chance. There's a chance that there yeah, is. It all came down to Shin, in my opinion. Earlier. Is there a flank? Let's go clear it. Make sure it's clear, and if it is clear, we can go in for a reflank. We've planted in the position where we can defend it from heaven if we do a late around the world flank. So moving together there after they realized that the site was free was such a good decision. Bring them down. I hearing that sentence after the last season is just <laughs> it's, it's near on musical at that point. It's lovely to hear. And it looks like Armand Court, again, going to be very patient in this. Who got the most kills in pistol? To be managed by Giants, Magnum. So maybe, uh, yeah, what are we thinking? On attack? I mean, either of these ults are them, pretty so good. So we'll see who um, gets a chance that, at farming the most here. At the moment, Please Magnum is it. holding the spike. <laughs> Please do it. <laughs> Give it to me. Dare you. Oh, not going to happen. Very slow approach from KC. And, and I'm quite happy to see that, honestly. I, I, I'm good to see it. Again, I'm just haunted by last season, right? Like, I think a lot of us who actively watched EMA, EMEA were, you know, left in tatters by the end of it. Um, but seeing these sort of approaches, love it already. Love what we're seeing from this side. And putting Giant X through the absolute ringer here. But they still need to stick the landing. There is a stack in play, and they haven't really dismantled much of it. Information aplenty, yes, but they're just being drawn in. This is a five-man stack here. Giant oh, X have the players. Wait. Redgar has gone That's, down. Uh, There's a four-person stack here. Seconds, they're going to run out of options to rotate. Yeah, four-person stacks could get a Dan bit of damage done. Dicey. Are any of them going to make this one problematic? Martin! Fantastic little swing from that, but there's Cloud, and now the bomb's starting to mount. Cloud's got two. Nari's still standing. He's going to drop down. 25 HP, probably, probably not, but good damage. Get any of these weapons, but he does 15 seconds. Play with, but look at the time. 13 seconds. They're under the gun, and they're under pressure. Oh, what? Wow. A moment for Cloud almost to punish that late <laughs> well, round timer that was ticking was away from Carmine Core. Solid One thing damage different done. Could have been the difference maker there. A shorty in the hands of the player up close at B main. If the, that player's not B main, if he's sidewalk and they swing together, any little thing could have mounted into just, oh man, such a bad round for Carmine Core. 
I'm surprised that with Raze getting all the way up to vents to A Heaven, seeing absolutely nothing, that they still decide to go be there. It's Cloud is insane. Oh man, Cloud they could fit into trap setup. any I top, top, top team. Like, Melons. Cloud could fit into the like best top four wailing. teams in the world for sure. He's so good. Core, but it's, <laughs> it's all good. They weather the storm. All right, it doesn't matter how they get there, they, they got there. All right, we we'll just we move on. Around's um, around. <laughs> I feel like you've said that a couple of times. I say that a lot of times. <laughs> but now we look and see what they can achieve with. Uh, Flash goes over towards the middle. Cards. They can fast Go rotate onto this one. Yuki is in trouble. This smoke is great, though. Side, though. They don't know about Cloud particularly, but wow. now they do. Cloud Looking again. Cloud again. He did he did extra damage away. to the that other player coming in as well. Yeah, this uh, well. got, got a shout out Redgar for that smoke there. That in between the screen. Oh, that's what you're talking about on Inferno, right? When you're going <laughs> up banana, you put the smoke down. And, yeah, you, you gotta know, do the overzone. The There's no jet right? here oh, to, to true, updraft true, over. True, true, true. If the updraft came yeah, over... Yeah, this smoke was everything. It allows him to hold this angle and you get to push all the way through. So definitely... Got a shout out Redgar for that one. Boom, defensive smoke comes in. Let's play a setup where we can just pivot off of each other. Cloud gets the first two, and then the rest of the team is Time able to, to flood in and just deal with Karmacore before Karmacore can stabilize on the site. Yeah. Now, any early ults coming into effect? I, I think it's been quite a well spread out affair. No single. I was going to say, are we going to wait for this one again? This is, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. drifting out but of main. this is. Considering that's so his role it's on one of those things where it's like giants are looking at this comp and they're going, well, they got no trips. We can definitely try and take some uh, take some jewels here. But Kcop also know the same thing that they have no sentinels. So at one point they're going to start going aggro, and pretty much they're just going to hold a default like this until the push comes. They punish it, and then they're not scared to push anymore. So this right here, what just happened, is a massive, massive win for Kcop because they can probably. Be a little bit looser with watching the flanks now. That was like too hard for read. I don't know what that was. So don't massively blame Nuke here for it, but it was relatively early. Onto this, they saw the opportunity. Nuke gone down. Fantastic. A site is open, and the double stack here as well is going to be hard to break. Uncomfortable for Cloud. Yes, does have kit to play with, but no first steps here. They've not taken towards heaven control. They've taken the higher lower here with Shin being able to swing. The stun's great though, but too many people. Really good round from them. And then once they get the punish from the push as well, just the instant group. That was a lovely round to watch. And Giants win a round, lose the next. 1 9 loss bonus. This has to be a save. And these two. I mean, they're going to be alright. Next round is the big one. 3,000 for everyone surviving here. Perfect round for K Corp. And on top of that, they punish them for pushing. For God's sake, dude. Three times today in EMEA. But now we're seeing cohesion on top of that. We're seeing them play off of each other, with each other. And that's going to be the difference between just like a team that's skilled and a team that's like a good team together. So the makings of something. Really I love how anything yeah. that uh, these guys have again, planned as well. The replays are good for it, the like the Astra like, Yoru well ult combo, them, and then just the I, fact I that like they the knew that at one point these guys are going to push sort of early and they're going to get around from it. They're going to begin with. Again, you'd say good replays. In last season, with a very similar roster, were kind of not uh, mid pack sounds unfair. They were just under the cusp of the top tier teams, right? They were just kind of that fourth place position. They've had a early walk push down middle. So. Seeing already Instead of pushing the sides for this to be able to flank behind, anyway, they push over like towards the middle. They get a lot of early info. Of space. He wasn't alone. Yeah, all of mid was taken from the defenders Wait. here, so they know something's up. They got info early at the round at, at B. They think it's maybe a B play again. And Nookie's afraid to push. He got punished last round, so A yeah. site is wide open for the taking. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. yeah you, you're, you're loving this one. Martin does have to dip away eventually. Send that out, but he's cleared so much space, right? Like the information game, they are winning. Five people Can't spawn. Like have all of the info they need. You know, flash was good. just seen it. The ult comes through, and they're gonna need to start making their way in, but already they're being denied. Oh the my god, that flash! That pillar is now just lit. Oh my god, that flash, flash again. It's fantastic. Oh, wow. What the so hell is, is that flash? They're both pixel this perfect is flashes. A masterclass from Carmine Core, and I did not expect to be saying that. Everything they're doing is perfect. Like, yeah, they, they got some. Reads, they got they some good, good goals, stuff. They good they're making the Yori look shots. broken. They have good ability usage. They have good ability synergy. Everything they're doing is this right defensive right. flash and, after the first, like, three or four and rounds, the first like, one before okay, this as well, just as good. They're looking a little shaky. This four and three retake. What's going on there? But they look like a completely oh, different team. They that. look like an actual team right now. Where? Like a yep. really good, well cohesive, gelled, well gelled team.
and, and a lot of credit in my mind as well will go to the yeah that was like ethan esque supportive you know, yoru flashes those lovely players you've got a, you know, tp goes uh, towards the back of the side again is he well, ever you know, gonna actually the take this a lot of things, what didn't go definitely way. not on the eco Did round i'll put that one up there i'm putting a lot towards the coaches in that regard it's gonna be i don't know if they're gonna use their ultis here they do have fade ult they do have rocket do you save it do you, do you need it probably save it unless you need it the rocket from the defenders though that's definitely going to come out into play they need to use that if they they, they shouldn't start with it but they should okay. definitely finish with it if there's any early kills from the defense right now they need to pop that rocket and try to convert this round because right yeah. now if they let carmine core get 11 rounds that's going to be very scary for them. yeah dog doesn't see Didn't anyone he doesn't see him but he doesn't know 100 percent if it's Orum or not so he doesn't want to take a timing or a gamble especially against an eco no point in doing anything mad prowler to check this please don't do it. Don't do it, Magnum. Okay, at least the spacing's good. Yeah, Ewick gets the shoddy boy. Magnum feeling himself now. He's already up out of his chair last round. They don't confirm it. May get away with his life. Maybe not. I mean, look at the pressure. Look at this. Look at the util it dump. Is stunning. This is all Lovely. they can take. That's gorgeous as well. I mean, yes, they and are. No more ults needed into this one. Buy, but this is beautiful. This is really heads up, Valorant. Yeah, I think it was pretty decent that they Five used planted. the fade ulti there to enter i thought that it was going to get a little scary if they walk into b main there and don't use a prowler yeah. and let's say redgar gets the opening with the sheriff that round the could be a little bit different if redgar is able to hide in the corner to teleport to reposition things get a little bit scary but using it just to close out the round oh. get one step closer to <laughs> just follows it with his crosshair as well to, you know get 11 with this use a raise rocket to get 12 in the next round, then you could be like chilling, you could do more risky plays and, and do whatever you want. So really good uh, decision making there to actually use the fatal team. Yeah, the yeah, end is here, flawless there. Love that, big fan. Big, big fan? fan yeah, can't get enough me. Um, if you're Giant XO, this is Panic Stations. If I'm honest, I, I wouldn't be surprised. To, I think they still have one time out here for themselves. Um, and the problem is, I mean, you, you look at the way the rounds have been strung together. What are you meant to be doing with them at this point? They haven't had much of an opportunity to figure much out. A couple of things have gone wrong, but if I'm honest, I'm putting this on Carmine Core's side. They've looked stunning the way they've been you know, uh, yeah, approaching the time out. side. Clearly coming in well prepared on split. This looks like something they've been having. You know, the problem is they got uh, they got to go map, against so many ults here. Again, I don't know what the options are for Giant X now going forward. Yeah, I'm pretty not sure there's really a sure. result for both. Honestly, it's it's such a tough position to be in because you're there. It's not your map pick, and you're, I mean. You expect? Uh, wait, I have a question. Okay. It's Carmine Core's map pick. Yes. They start a defense. Oh, I'm gonna have a little check. Have a little check. That that is something that's like, that's really curious because like, you know, if you're gonna do that, then you're you're thinking. Am I gonna like, stream 15 mm -hmm. hours tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. Uh, what is it tomorrow? Six. Six so best of threes. With that context, Good news is we get a four night sleep. You want to so have pretty, way more than five. That's rounds. pretty cool. You yeah. want to have like seven rounds. You want to? Yeah, that does change the dynamic, right? It does. It absolutely does because, like, the split is traditionally defender sided. So if you're gonna willingly choose attack into the opponent's map pick, you better have a really good game plan and you better have like a really I good. I did idea look at it, Lexi. How to close Roughly, out a game I think that's why. Defense. That's the only I reason why I think that, I'm right yeah. with that. And, and look at this pace. Look at this. They, they, they go it's, fast it's with this omen. Oh, okay. We called it. The omen ult towards the back. The same oh, play. Oh, yeah, but Hoodie is so Hoodie ready for it this time. Massey, I honestly think that side, maybe he, he heard this, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we saw we saw the combo with the omen ult and the astro ult. I mean, and we saw it with the euro as well. But this one, not tricking him twice. This does maybe remove some of the stress of that lurk coming in because they will get to be a, you know, a little bit more heads up about it and it looks like they're just going in with with pace they just want to get in towards this one close down the gap nookie's done well to find magnum still a player on the back side that's martin can't take okay, nicely down. handled from uh giant giants X. chat who was the guy that who was the guy that was on top of the <laughs> Honestly, strat here the round there, I'm just fast learning for sure just I also think there like might have been someone on site that heard the TP. You would probably have to do a different wall to secure that no, no one on the right of it hears. Yeah, they had someone on site that heard this as well. It just said, you know what? Okay, see ya. So the difference that round could have had, though, if oh, yeah. you saw Tomasi actually be able to... I, I mean, I think on the other side, Hoodie was literally, like, blinded, and it just it just worked out for him. He just you know, held down mouse and it worked. 
But it, it felt very similar to what we kind of saw with you know Martin taking that TP as well in that first Did half. Did he have the TP? Behind I mean, he the was the wrong right? side another of the wall. Nice it would have been the other guy in sight. That Carmine Core trying to work out, but it looks like Giant X kind of on the case. A little bit more heads up this time, not falling for the same old tricks. Um, Alt-wise, we start to see them sit a little bit more with Giant X. Sands. Oh, we are going of, fast with this. Scenery, straight up the gut. Straight through middle. Back to back maybe for Giant He has been the man to send them back the last couple of rounds. Oopsie, you're right. It was Tomasi. Yeah, we might see a might see a timeout from K Corp after right. this, Sometimes. just Red. to slow Tomasi the pace. Another pause in the round as they take B Heaven Control, letting the round simmer a little bit. Okay, it's getting that. a little bit messy here. At least the trades came All the in over towards like, well, site. I mean, they don't have to overreact. You still have Nookie sat with his utility in play. He kind of kind of you know, keep control of A quite nicely, but he does have the support system of Cloud still there, but it puts a lot on the plate of the two players on the site. The Paranoia, I think, actually did catch just a second TP taken. Red guard back of the site now. This puts Fatima Lovely on Lovely shot, and they know the Omen's here. Trade off that. That was a very yeah, you need to get out of there. Swing. And it looks like just get out of dodge. Red guards are like, okay, peace. Yeah, <laughs> nicely done from Red guard, though, but this makes this very winnable for K-Corp. I don't know if I love no this. No ults, this is, uh, no nothing. Uh, Cloud has I double mean, the flash. Uncomfortable you don't know where that TP was. You can maybe yeah, Astra Luck, guess, and they still, both come then. Taking this much space towards middle is massive. Because you know the Nookie's still going to be a lot. Oh, Oi, that's unlucky timing. That's heartbreaking timing. Cloud's going to take it with both hands, though. But Magnum on the case. Yeah, respect. They push over towards standing. heaven. Big 1v1. Good plan for him. But Redgar obviously has a smoke. TP taken way earlier. They have no idea where And knows this, so you might see him duel out early. Didn't get seen. Smoke for the diffuse, though. Shadows. Should do. Oh, another player. No, no, no. Oh, oh, the spray. He caught yeah. him, but he didn't kill him. Oh, he had the gun. He had the gun. 30 on the other. This is so close. A tap on the spike. He's trying to tie with him. A red guard. Nicely done from Redgar. He's got this one. I think he does. Yeah, we just saw the circle. Wait, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh my. Oh. I, doubted my, I doubted myself at the beginning. I was confident <laughs> and then I doubted it. Was oh, it's getting a little risky. All good. All good. All intended. All good. 11 to 9. This is now getting a little bit more tense here. We're starting to see that resurgence. Timeout came in for Giant X. They've worked something out, right? They've, they've found some solution here in these last couple of rounds. They have found some solution. I, I like the yeah, pretty pace. close. What I was he like down to? Thirty six HP. Right now, on their attacks, are taking that really fast B heaven control and letting the round develop a little bit. We saw Carmine Core was actually down. What like uh, they were at a man disadvantage, mm -hmm. and they slowly just like crept down the rope, got into hell, waited for someone to make a mistake. Giants, X peaks, give the opportunity for Carmine Core. That could have gone either direction at the end there. Okay, it got... came down to the wire. Magnum won away from his ult as well. A few with Seekers, and, and then he this is a massive, yeah. massive round. Money is really low down. after such a yeah, close give, round. Give him the chance to play that position. Everyone yeah, with a circle in can't buy next if their team feels loses. Feels so unfortunate because that could have been such a swing moment there for them. But 11 to 9, Giant X dying to claw back into this game now. Seeing much better overall. I thought it was a bit of a drought. No information on the flash. Giant Sax and Nookie is afraid of uh, giving up a first blood again, so he's playing in the back of the site here. And yeah, just another, just another one free one but as we can see, obviously, since they did the punish of the push, we haven't really seen too much other than the push in middle, but none that followed. I'm looking at Nari though. Look at this. He's got Damn. a lot of How the hell is he here? Damn. Uh, they, they okay, I like this. They could just show a little bit of presence somewhere and try and see if they and get they get the kill on Heaven. Fatal with is, the. I mean, it just shifts that position. Fatal hits no one. To maybe just catching rotations, but yeah, they, they, they have no one. idea that this no guy just chance, snuck all the way no through Heaven no and he gets oh, double. And Giants probably have to save this. Some of his kills have been so impactful, but honestly, because you got to think that their buy is going to be horrendous. Gutting for Giant X. Yeah, Red Gar and Fatinho are still alive, but this. This round is not for them anymore. Really well played there Spike from Carmine Core. When Nerari got into CT through B Heaven, I was nervous for a second because Yoru's going up ropes, throwing flashes into A Heaven. What's that going to do? It's going to pull them pull from the B, yep. and they're going to try maybe catch Nerari in the back. Mm. But then he's like, wait, you know what? Let's make the noise back towards B. Fade uses ultimate towards B. Yep. That pulls the A rotators. Knife out. Everyone knows you run faster with a knife out. So that, that's a, able to open the round for narrate, and then they're able to audible back to A. That is a prime example of just like the one three one spread mm -hmm. default, take the map control, and then just see Cover what you can out. get. Don't overly commit into anything. Prod a little bit, see what space you can Tell get. You get the space, the you FPS, make the plan, uh, FPS and you do a little bit quote. of push and pull there. <laughs> Great round from Carmen Core there. That's a real... <laughs> Getting to see Real them play like this one. on Split, it, it's, it's one of the things I love about it. 
It reminds me of the, uh, I think it's uh, it's called Nuke or something from another <laughs> game. It's just you're causing point. and punishing any gap that's made by kind of pulling rotations from utility, presence, whatever it is. It's just beautiful to see. And again, be able to slip the net like this, uh, it's just outstanding. Yeah, I mean, the follow-ups, I mean, that's beyond <laughs> See ya. It's such a banger, well, bro. It was I'm such just, a yeah, banger back incredibly then. Incredibly impressed with what we're seeing. Uh, and what a remake of this roster already. But this could be the ultimate round, at least in map one for now. No alts available here for yep. them just to instantly tip the scale. And the buy is... Not a perfect purchase, though, Not for the X. one, really. Yeah, Giant X is trying to punish the fast mid to B. Three chances Has it in play to take the, the fast map. The breach in the position to stun. Sky in a position to wait, flash, wait, and they're ready is. to fight that together. <laughs> yeah. but it's Relax not yourself come. a little bit. It's you gonna go spike. A, and it's going to be Cypher. All that goes into middle. So vision block. Insta clear of the question mark position. that they tried He's to create. He's all the way He needs to be in a position where he can smoke for the Cypher. Camera on site. Otherwise, it's all over. See if it is all Lovely over. Nookie, how much can you do? A bulldog to play with, and five players coming Come your on, way. The support keep. system is not there. Kill he trip. is very much alone. He's trying to stall this one out. Flying his narrate though. Already looking for it. They're trying to just back him up, and Nookie still survives. Takes down the first for the follow ups of the problems. And more information. I oh. thought he had it. Cloud's got his back though. Oh and man, this kid, three. Is, this kid is too good. The bleed. Lovely Giant from X. him. Lovely shot. All right, three Barely, chances down to two, and God, Cloud long. has another yeah, all. I thought for sure Giant X was gonna lose that round. Carmine Core trying to do a little bit of like mid faking with like the prowler out, the Cloud, out, the Leo of EMEA. Um, Maybe put some like question marks, but <laughs> with um, Giant X in position, be heaven ready to run into the vents. Breach able to spill out through CT with that. Smoke. We saw the Omen <laughs> smoke deployed right at the exit of screens so that Breach could get through screens into elbow and back up the Cypher on the site. And we didn't Last see time out used. explosive enough there. And we yeah, saw the Rays go in, but then there was a cage. Yeah. To, yeah, there was yeah. a cage. And then where's the next teammate? Still at lower A main. They didn't have ramp control. They didn't have heaven control. They weren't able to stop a flood. They weren't in the site to, to stabilize the site and trade the kills. So not a great execution from Carmine Core. If they go into that again, they better do it with something like a Yoru ulti, a raise rocket on hand, maybe an omen TP so that they can get the info of where the defenders are anchoring from. But without any of those in play that last round, that was looking eh, maybe not the best call. Maybe they should have done something where they felt out the round a little bit. Maybe they took some control over B Heaven or ropes. They would have gone to a trap either way. So I think Giant Sex actually made a really good call there. Yeah, it worked out for them. Uh, we're going to see Cloud with the ult, especially after that last round. Not surprising that he's be able to get it. And, and great to see Cloud kind of kicking back into form. One of the unsung heroes. I know he's high on a lot of people's lists to try and get him on the teams throughout this year and last. He's always been someone to be headhunted. But sticking around here, looking to see what they can do going in. We are very close by to narrate having his ult Got two away. Front. Martin yeah. as well, two off from his. Got some so nice a potential. Opportunity starting to knock for Carmine Core, but not quite in this round. So it looks quite simplistic. We're not seeing the split across the map. Yes, we do still see at least Shin on the other side, but everyone really posturing early here. Yeah, right now I think Giant Sax is playing thinking, hey, we just shut them down today. They're not gonna come A again. We can go back into a similar setup. Hey, look, I've got Breach ulti. If they come into us, we can use it. We can do a fast flood. We can stabilize on the round. We could use it as like a counter I wonder if it would have been better to eco on this. Together. So it's going like to be really interesting and have to see the, how have this the better buy next round. Next 10 seconds these two are a little bit wrecked, but like, one, the they would then have rotation, right? Where does these three ults? Patino commit towards? It looks like he's going to commit towards that B site. A 1-3-1 one, one from the attack inside, holding both the extremities straight up the middle. Yes, the flash will confirm there is presence here. So this will be noted. Martin's been good for this, though. I'm gonna get what he wants, though. No full attention being given. Three mid control, 45 seconds, Shin's three person stack. This round. What's his end game plan? Towards A. Because of this. Sorry. I'm B. nervous for Giant Sacks right now. They're giving us they so much the right side. respect, they can't connect and we break on either the side. It, it could be a and we have two people for the reaction, yeah, so the Prowler goes in, clears no all of this, for at and least Giants, seconds. yeah, I was gonna say, once the Prowler saw no one... Yeah, but they're they're sweating themselves. Yeah, heavy <laughs> fake over towards B. Gotta make their mind up. They Dude, they go got some low now, time potential Melons back moment, back especially with the double trip over towards here. And it is gonna be Cloud standing there. There's the ult, and there is the ultimate problem. Ten seconds. They need to get to the site. They need to clear the back of Pillar, and they can't. Nookie holding them back. Takes the attention. Takes down two. Oh and boy. And make it five, surely. Switches to the classic. Who did he stole it? Fantastic holding. Yeah. A little bit. 
little bit of a flashback there, man. We got a got a bit of old K Corp. They did choose the right side at the end, especially once the Prowler cleared over towards A Heaven. It just came in like what five, ten seconds too late. Okay, you guys are chill at B. I'm gonna go over to A. flashback. If they come through middle up events into heaven, I got the breach ulti, baby. I'll send the back the cake of legacy lives on. They at least have ult here, but two of them have worse buys. Right. We swing together, and then the flood's gonna be there within a matter of seconds. So, yeah, Carmine Core, they had so much one away from a razor as well if they want it. Especially when they see an ulti on the board, maybe they do what Nero think I would have echoed the round prior to this. We'll see. Margaros with the prime, thank you so much. Really do appreciate that. Ooh. We'll see what the plan is now, Martin. Just unleashing one, all straight away. As two. One through. That's going to be the operator. Wait, and they well. see the op. Hear that going. Oh, my oh God. My. He went for the red guard. Yeah, that is a there team omen Ready flash, by the way, that kind void, of wrecked that. Tomasi with a trade out, and Does, it Does it matter, though? Does it matter? How the hell have they done that? They've just swept the site. They've got the plant. And now you've got Nookie and Cloud, the I heroes from the it. last round, with a 2v4. Tamazi might have wrecked his own team with the Omen Flash, but, but he's gonna have to the Spectre was everything. Right Astra, late luck, Spike there. down, this still has a star to use uh, Astra Suck. Great. This could be the correct follow-up. This oh, chat should be doable. Here. There it is, confirmed. Tries to make the run. Cloud trying to close down. Magnum gets out with his life, though. Readjust reposition. A tap on the Spike. Nookie wants this to half. He doesn't Okay, Astra Suck. That's unfortunate. Magnum on the pickup. This could be it. Now down to one. Nookie, how much can one man Okay. They do get the fast map. They had some cool stuff with this comp. They had some cool stuff. That was a great round. Great half. Great game.